Once I, I upon know, a time. I, 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 I not, not, not a short story. Okay, not a short story. This is a story about a little boy called Jack who lived with his daddy and his mummy and a pig. Jack's mummy and daddy were very poor. <laughs> they didn't have much money. So they couldn't feed themselves and Jack and their pig. And the pig? With a wiggly tail. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. So one day, Jack's mummy said to Jack, you'll have to go to the, bar the market and get some money by selling our little pig. So Jack tied a string round the pig's neck and set off to market. But on the way, he couldn't quite remember what his mummy had said. So he realized he'd made a mistake, or so he thought. So he took the pig back home and he thought, I think my mummy said to, I think it was the pig who told me to go to market and sell my mummy. So he tied a string round his mummy's neck and led her to the market. But on the way, he met a very old lady who said to Jack, where are you going with your mummy? So Jack said, I'm taking my mummy to market to sell her because we need some money to, pet, to feed the pig. Well, said the old lady, I'll buy your mummy from you. Really, said Jack, how much money will you give me? And she said, forget about money. I'll give you these sausages for your money, mummy. What can I do with sausages, said Jack. The old lady said, well, you can feed your pig. He'll be very happy to eat sausages. Oh, said Jack, that sounds good. But what about when they're gone? Don't worry, said the lady. They're magic sausages. You can never finish them no matter how many you eat. Oh, that sounds like a good idea, said Jack. So he took, he sold his mummy to the lady and took the sausages in exchange. Well, on the way home, he started to feel a bit hungry. So he took the sausages out of his pocket and ate them all. Uh -huh. When he got back to the pig, the pig was very cross to hear that he'd eaten all the sausages. But then Jack felt in his pocket and found some more sausages. So he gave them to the pig to eat. And when they were all gone, the pig said, I'm still hungry. Then Jack looked in his pocket and there were more sausages and more sausages. And the more he took out of his pocket, the more there were. So he kept taking sausages out of his pocket and putting them on the floor and the pig kept eating them. Well, because after all... Because some sausages came Sausage in his pocket. Yep, more and more sausages. It just seemed to have no end of sausages. And like the lady said, you could never eat them all. They'll keep coming back more and more. Anyway, Jack went to bed. And when he woke up, he looked out of his window. It was quite dark. He looked carefully, and there was a giant sunflower outside his window. So Jack decided to climb up the sunflower to the clouds. And when he got to the clouds, he saw there was a giant castle at the end of the road. And Jack was becoming very big because he'd been eating sausages. He'd been eating sausages after sausages because he still had sausages in his po pocket. So the more he climbed, the more he ate and he kept eating the sausages. Finally, he got to the castle. The door was open. He looked inside and there was nobody there, except for a sign which said, welcome, this is your castle. So Jack realized that he was now a giant and this was his castle. Pretty soon, as Jack was going through the castle, he found his wife. He didn't have a wife before, but now he did. And his wife was very, very small like a mouse. So he talked to his wife and said, what do you do? And the wife said, I like to eat pigs. <laughs> yep. Just then, there was a knock on the door and Jack went to see who it was. And it was his pig, who was also a giant now. 
What do you want, said Jack? And the pig said, Please, sir, I'm hungry. Can I have some breakfast? And Jack said, Run away quickly. My wife is, a, my wife is small like a mouse and likes to eat pigs. But, but, what's so the pig said, But, Animal? Is the wife an animal? Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, she was. She, she's a big cow. Uh, uh, eats, like a mouse. Who eats pigs? Who eat pigs? Yeah. So anyway, then Jack said, "No, you can't come in. If my wife sees you, she'll eat you. She loves to eat pigs." Oh, please," said the pig. "I'm so hungry." All right," said Jack. "You can come in, but if you hear my wife coming, you'd better hide in the oven quickly before she gets there." Good place to hide, do you think? Yes. Hmm. Anyway, so the pig came in and Jack gave it some nice breakfast. Get what was the breakfast he gave it, do you think? Mm -hmm. Bread. Exactly. And milk. and milk, yes, exactly. The pig had a lovely meal, but just then they heard a very terrible noise. It went like this Fee Fi Fo Fum. I smell the tail of a little pig. No, of, of a giant. Who do you think was saying that? The giant. No, it was the Jack's wife. <coughs> who was small like a mouse. Then the, the giant, the, no, the, giant the, um, the wife of Jack, she said, Be he alive or be he dead. I'll have his bacon for my breakfast in bed. The pig was very frightened and rushed to hide in the oven as quick as possible. So get speed! Now Jack's wife came in and sat down at the table and said, Husband, bring me my breakfast. So Jack immediately brought the wife's breakfast and she said, I smell the smell of a little pig. Where is he? No, 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 said Jack. There's no little pig here. That must be your bacon, bacon sausages you're smelling. And with that, Jack pulled out some sausages from his pocket and cooked them and gave them to his wife, who ate the sausages. When she'd finished, she called Jack and said, Husband, bring me my money. I want to count it. So Jack brought his wife's bag of money and she started to count it. But pretty soon, she fell asleep. Now, as Jack wasn't there, the pig came out of its hiding place in the oven and climbed up on the table, saw the bag of money, picked it up in his snout and ran away with it and climbed down the beanstalk all the way back to Jack's mummy and daddy. Like, mummy wasn't there because she'd been sold in the market. All the way back to Jack's daddy. Now, when the wife woke up, she was very cross that someone had stolen her bag of money. Meanwhile, the pig was getting curiouser and curiouser, wondering what else was up in the sky. So one day, the pig decided to climb up into the up the bean up the um, not the beanstalk the. Um, Sunflower to the clouds again, knocked on the door, and Jack answered. What do you want? said Jack. Please, can I have some breakfast? said the pig. Well, all right, said Jack, but you better be careful about my wife. She's small like a mouse, but she likes to eat pigs. If my wife comes, you better hide in the oven. So he let the pig in and gave the pig some nice breakfast. But pretty soon they heard the sound of the wife coming. Boom, 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 as she came down the corridor. Quickly, the pig jumped down from the table where he was eating breakfast and hid in the oven. When the wife arrived, she said, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the tail of a little piglet. Not of a statue. Be he alive or be he dead. I'll have him for my breakfast in bed. 
No, dear, said Jack. That's the sausages in my pocket you can smell. And he immediately took some sausages out and started to feed his wife. Well, after a while, she called Jack and she said, Husband, bring me my gold, no, bring me my hen that lays the golden eggs. So Jack brought the hen to the wife and put it down on the table. And the wife said to the hen, Lay! And the hen laid a golden egg. Then the wife said again, Hen, lay! And the hen laid another golden egg. Pretty soon, the Jad's wife, uh, sorry, Jack's wife fell asleep. Jack wasn't there anymore. The piglet cried, climbed out from its hiding place in the oven, climbed onto the table, grabbed the hen by the scruff of its neck in his snout and ran all the way back down the beanstalk and back to the house where Jack lived with his father and the pig. The father was very pleased to see the pig which could lay golden eggs. No, not the pig which lay, that's very pleased to see the hen which could lay golden eggs. And he knew he'd never be hungry again. But after a while, the pig became curiouser and curiouser to know what else was up there in the sky. Bunny! So he climbed up the, be up the um, sunflower, went along the road to the castle and knocked on the door. Jack opened the door and the pig said, Please, sir, please let me in. I'm hungry. Can I have some breakfast? But Jack said, Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Aren't you that very hungry pig who came last time and stole my master, my, my wife's bag of gold, and then you stole her chicken which lays gold eggs? Oh no, said the pig. That wasn't me. That was another pig who looks like me. All right, said Jack. You can come in, but be careful. If my wife comes in, you'd better run and hide in the oven. So Jack gave the pig some breakfast. But pretty soon they heard the wife coming. Boom, 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 boom. Fee, fi, fo, fum, she said. I smell the tail of a little piglet. Be it alive or be it dead, I shall have it for my breakfast in bed. No, dear, no, dear, said Jack. That's not a little pig. That's a pork sausages I'm making you for your breakfast. And with that, Jack pulled some sausage out of his pocket and started to cook them. Well, the pig ate the sausages, not the pig, uh, <coughs> the giant's wife, the wife ate the sausages. And after a while, because she was quite small, the sausages were quite big, she was very replete. That means she ate enough and she fell asleep. No, but not before calling for the harp, which plays magical music. And the harp sang such a beautiful song, she quickly fell asleep. Now, the piglet came out of its hiding place, which wasn't in the oven this time. This time it was hiding in a large pot. And it climbed on the table, grabbed the harp, and started to run away with it. But the harp woke up and said, Master, master, or mistress, mistress, someone's stealing me. The wife woke up with a start and started to run after the pig and its harp. The pig started to run down the, climb down the back beanstalk as fast as it could with the giant's, that's me, no, that's, that's um, Jack, wife, in quick pursuit. She started to climb down after the pig. As they got halfway down, the pig shouted out to the father. Father of Jack, father of Jack, come quickly, bring an axe. So the father brought an axe and they and started to chop down, with the help of the pig, the, the big sunflower. And suddenly it came crashing to the ground with the giant's wife on it. And, and the giant's wife was instantly killed. And from that day after, Jack and his pig and his mummy and his daddy could live happily ever after and were never bothered by the giant Jack? again. The end. Did the giant come back? Did the 
Did Jack come back to his family? Yes, he came back to live with his family. Now everybody was happy. Thanks. And that's the end.